Hey everyone, just thought I'd give a quick demonstration of three new apps that are coming out this week. One's the Music Workout app, which is designed to facilitate interval training and any sort of group rotations. Here it is here, it's called Music Workouts. You can start by adding a workout, give it a name, let's call it Warm Up, and we can change the workout interval, so how long you want the people to work. Now for the sake of this we'll do it at 10 seconds, so we don't have to wait so long. And resting time will be 5 seconds, and we want to do that 13 times. Now we can also add a reminder, so we want to be reminded on Wednesday at 2.55 that we need to do our workout. Hit add workout, press edit, and enable the reminder, and there we are. That's our uh, workout. So we can add as many of those as we like for whatever situations and keep them saved. Now if we go to music settings, we can select a playlist that we would like to use. And I might use some new songs, add them all, and hit done. And I'm going to go rest settings, and this is the important part. This is how you tell whether it's work or rest time. Now you can have the music get quiet so that you know that it's time to go to rest, or you can have it pause so you know it's resting time. We can have the music level continue in a beep sounds over the top. So I'm going to go pause when resting and go back to my workouts and select the workout I want to use and when I hit start workout it's going to work for 10 seconds. You can see the total um, workout time at the top here and you can see the number of sets that we will be working for. Now it will use the music settings that are currently set. Let's go ahead and press start. You need to have mute switched off and if you want to lock your device you hit lock in the top of the device. So there you are, you can see it's now gone to the rest, the music is paused. So that's how it works, you can obviously um, help facilitate group sessions, you can use the rest time to give instructions to a class and you can use the rest time in circuit training to help with um, facilitating rest periods and so on. So I'll press stop there and I'll go and show you the other apps that are coming out. The other one that will be out this week is Swim Games. Now this is a simple app that I developed because I was down at the pool and I couldn't think of any good games to play and they're all in my notes. So basically these are games for the pool. You can select beginner games and you can pick a game and well here we go. Oh. No internet connection here on my phone at the moment, but you can see how the app works. It's just basically instructions for um, for different games. People can suggest a game as well, and over time, hopefully, more and more of them are added. And finally, um, I've had an update to my first app, the 12 Minute Run, which makes it a lot more modern um, and something I think looks fantastic. If I hit Start Test, um, I can put in my age and this will be allow me to do the 12 minute run test outside and use the GPS to track me. So if I hit start test, it prompts me to wait until I have good GPS signal, which is indicated up here at the top. When that moves up, the better it is. And eventually you hit start test and you'll see that it gives you a countdown and will start tracking your distance. Now I'm inside at the moment, I'm not moving my phone so I'm not going anywhere. Um, but if you're running around it will start to increase that and it's also recommended that you hit lock so that you don't get out of the app and have it not work. When you finish the new feature, which is the thing that I'm most proud about, is it'll actually integrate with runkeeper.com uh, and send any information that you have done to runkeeper so that you can track your improvements as you go. So there's there's some new applications that are, are due for release and hopefully um, you can see a few others that are in pipe work at the moment. Uh, Run Lap Tap, which is a lap counting timing app. PE Games, which is an app that is a bible for all PE teachers. And a secret app, which is um, still, I'm not quite sure about what I'll call it just yet, but stay tuned.